¿Cómo me escapo? In anticipation of the big 2012 transit event, NASA's Sun Earth Day, Gemini Observatory, and the University of Hawaii visited students at Kaukaha Elementary School in the district of Hilo on the big island of Hawaii. We're here because of NASA, and this is for the Venus transit for the 2012 NASA Sun Earth Day. Led by outreach coordinator Koa Umfroy, whom the children call Auntie Koa. Students learned about Hawaii's special relationship between its culture and astronomy. We're going to become astronomers here in our own room at our own school and be able to view the Venus transit, okay? First come the planets. Do you guys know what the name of this is in Hawaiian? We have Mercury, Ukaliali'i. We have Venus, Hokuloa. The Earth is Honua. Mars is Hoku'ula. Jupiter is Ka'avela. And Saturn is Makulu. Uranus is Heleakela. And Nepekune is Neptune. Okay? So these are our Hawaiian names for our planets. Okay? Pluto got taken out as a planet. Sorry. <laughs> it's a dwarf planet. Auntie Koa next talks about Hawaii's connection to the heavens. Let's bring it a little bit closer to home with King David Kalakaua. King Kalakaua was a very, very special man. Not only was he our last king, but he was very interested in 19th century science and technology. In 1874, Hawaii was one of the best places in the world to view this transit from. So Kalakaua posted, he actually invited these British men to come to Hawaii to view this Venus transit. So they set up telescopes. Now King Kalakaua, being that he was so interested in astronomy and, and this Venus transit being so special, he wrote this address. He wrote a speech and he read it to the astronomers on December 15th of 1874. And King Kalakaua says, it will afford me unfeigned satisfaction if my kingdom can add its quota toward the successful accomplishment of the most important astronomical observation of the present century and assist, however humbly, the enlightened nations of the earth in these costly enterprises. King David Kalakaua knew how important it was to work together towards a common goal. Pupukahi i holomua unite to move forward, and by working together, we make progress. He also knew that it was a very expensive venture. It wasn't something that was a cheap thing that we could do, that it was going to take many nations to work together towards this common goal. Okay, kind of like our observatories up on Mauna Kea today. There's so many of them and so many different nations, and they work together. So what we're going to do now is we are going to build some telescopes. Can I have some alaka'i? Could I have like two or three helpers, please? Like David King Kalakoa and the scientists of 1874, the young students work together toward a common goal. In Hawaiian, this is called pupukahi i holomua. With a kit, Generously donated by the Gemini Observatory, children take two cardboard tubes and tape lenses onto each tube. Okay, so you're going to take this large part, you're going to place it into the cap and push down. Okay? A 7.5 centimeter lens to the short tube and a 20 centimeter lens to the longer tube. Students at home can substitute a cardboard tube from a paper roll and a cardboard tube from a toilet paper roll. Lenses can be obtained at local teacher supply stores. Be sure the short tube can fit inside the longer tube. If the tubes do not fit snugly, paper can be fit around the short tube to ensure a nice fit. Experiment to see what works for you. So as you're looking up on the screen, you focus through this. If you can't see, make it farther out or push it further in, okay? 
Next, a styrofoam ball is placed onto a dowel. This ball will simulate the planet Venus. A spotlight at home can simulate the sun. It's cool, I can see it good. Okay, now Auntie's gonna give you a challenge. I'm gonna move it. Now you have to follow it. Can you follow it? As the Venus model passes key locations on the slide, students mark the moment they see the ingresses and egresses. They learn that astronomers in 1874 took measurements from different locations of the same event. According to Pupukehi i Holomua, nations worked together by sharing their data to find answers. This activity is good for the classroom only. Students should understand that the crafted telescope is not to be used for the actual transit event, as eyes can be harmed without added protection. The best way to view the actual transit event on June 5th is to either use specially approved solar sunglasses, telescopes with solar filters, pinhole projection, or, best of all, a website like NASA's Sun Earth Day. With the close of the activity, an added treat is a movie created by astronomers William Sheehan and Anthony Misch, who took still frames from the 1882 transit and animated them into a film strip, thus creating one of the earliest motion pictures of an event that King Kalakoa saw himself. What do you think King Kalakaua would think today of us? Antikoa points out that the transit of today connects the students to their revered King Kalakoa, who was instrumental in helping world scientists view the transit of Venus in 1874. The movie serves as a spiritual link between today's Hawaiians and the last reigning king of Hawaii.